A brand new film making its Seattle premiere tonight. Uh, like is a documentary that takes a hard look at the impact of social media on our lives. And, you know, we are more connected to each other than ever. But the film explores whether all of this connectivity is helping us or hurting us. And joining me now is Sheila Anderson, the director of the film, Like. And a pleasure to have you here this morning. This is the premiere of the film yes. tonight. You've been working on this for how long? Uh, just over, about a year. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, a, a really interesting project, you know. And we have we have apps now that show how much time we're spending on our smartphones. Yeah. And I got my weekly update last week. I was spending three hours a day on my phone. I was. There's no way. There's no way I'm spending that much time. And you see that. That's a lot of time. Yeah. What is it doing to us? Well, I think it depends on whether it's about balance. How much are you also off your phone, and what are you doing? But you know, sometimes we're on our phones and we're being productive. We're doing emails, we're doing things that are helping us move mm -hmm. forward. Then there's that time that you spend where you're on social apps, where you're really not doing anything productive. Right. You're just kind of like breezing through and looking at life. And you, you're, There's a difference. And so Like is a, is a film that you're showing at, at local schools, among other places. What, what's the message you want people to, to take away from this? I'm so glad you asked that. The reason I made this movie was because I wanted anyone, kids or parents or educators, who watched it to be inspired to self-regulate, to put their phones down. That, that, and that's what we actually found. I did a test screening in my office ye right. yesterday, and everyone said, God, I want to put my phone down. Like, I don't want to be on it as much. Yeah. So to me, that was success. Um, so younger people have never lived in a world without social media, mm -hmm. right? So are, are they savvier about using their social media? I, mean, I know they know more about it than we do, and they're sneakier about it. They have all these secret apps and things that, than we are. But are they, are they savvier in general, smarter about it? Absolutely. Okay. They are savvier not just with social media, but with technology. We had a school that we were filming. Um, we were filming in a school in Hong Kong, and the, they just, the uh, administration built in a, a huge wall around, you know, technology, a technology wall around the Wi-Fi system, so they couldn't reach the social media. And the kids hacked it in a, in a day, and then the teachers were just locked in. So what, what's happening to kids when they're 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 too involved in social media? What's the, what's the real downside for a kid that that's heavily involved in social media? The real downside is is they're not using that part of their brain or any of those sort of, they're not learning to read social cues, they're not able to make eye contact, the la um, there's less empathy. Um, there are so many negative things that are happening, but there's also so many positive things. There are people who actually find their people, their tribe, you know, when they can't find them at school, so they can mm -hmm. find them online. There you go. And so there's a lot of really good things about social media. And social media is a reflection of who we are as people. So it's important that we as people be the best we can be offline, and that will be reflected online. Now, we live in a divided society. It seems that social media has become kind of a vacuum. There's a whole lot of people talking and not a lot of people listening. Uh, on social media. So yeah. is there evidence that, that social media is driving us apart in ways? Absolutely. I mean, I think that we are so distracted with what, what people are posting, which are their sort of perfect pictures of themselves. Right. They're not even real pictures. We, we have a whole segment in the movie on Snapchat dysmorphia because your selfies are actually distorting your own image, and that's what you're just putting into your own brain. So now plastic surgeons are getting this flood of people coming in saying, I want my nose smaller, because a selfie at a regular person's arm's distance is 30% larger in the picture. And so there's all kinds of, we're learning about all these things, this fallout from social media, but it's not, it connects us in some ways, like with families, we can stay connected on Facebook, but actually, we're not connecting in real life. Yeah. And we need to practice, we need balance, we need both. And, and you're touching on, I have one more question for you, I think it's an important one. Are there specific strategies that we should be using, both as parents, kids, yeah. users of social media, um, that, that would help us use it more beneficially? Absolutely, and we mentioned that in the film too. There's, you can turn off notifications from everything except human beings because it takes about 23 minutes to get, actually get back on track when you're distracted. So if you've got these notifications saying, oh, there's a big sale here, or there's somebody just liked a photo, that's a distraction you can live without. So turn off those notifications. The other thing you can do is don't use your phone as an alarm clock. And the last thing I will mention in this segment is um, grayscale. 
turn your phone to grayscale and, you know, depending on Android or iOS, you can go in and figure that out. We will post that on our website and we also mention it in the movie. Going grayscale, your phone looks boring. Okay. If the first thing you look at is all this vibrant color, your real world pale, pales in comparison. Grayscale, okay. Grayscale is really key. I have done that, so now in the morning, because I'm, I'm so bad, <laughs> it is my alarm clock. And so when I look at it, it's just gray. It's boring. It's right. not interesting. It's interesting. Movies look like Charlie Chaplin movies. You know, your Facebook feed, your Instagram feed doesn't look as interesting. I mean, I'd take a shot at Charlie Chaplin movies. They were fantastic. <laughs> no, and Sheila, I do too. Sheila Anderson, thank you so much for your time. Great thank to you. have you on this Thanks. morning. And don't forget, the Seattle premiere of Like is tonight, 7 yep. o'clock, at Seattle Children's Hospital's Parent White Map. Theater. And... Parent Map is hosting this screening tonight. It, Correct, yeah, no, Parent Map, exactly. And I was going to say, for more information on uh, this film, other screenings, you can go to parentmap.com slash like.